for today's video, I will be reviewing. Oh. This is Lan Bang and welcome back to my channel to all those who are here for the first time Welcome, welcome, welcome and to all those who have stuck around from the very beginning Thank you so much for joining me once again For today's video, I will be reviewing five fine liner pens that I use for my artwork well some of them I don't think I will be continuing with because they don't give the best results but some I will definitely continue to use for as long as I live that is if the brands and the companies don't change the quality of the product as I review this five fine liner pens I will also be testing these pens for its smoothness its bleed test its ghosting and its smudge proof price and also if these pens are available here in India or not I have also created a lot of small art pieces using these fine liner pens and I've converted them into stickers which I will definitely be showing you somewhere along this video. So well, without further ado, let's get it started. So I will be first using this Faber Castle pen. It comes in a set of four and it has the extra small, the small size, the medium and the F. I don't know what the F stands for, but yeah, but I would basically just be testing one each. So let's go for the small. Where is the small? The small. Yeah, that's pretty smooth so I've just written my name it's really smooth the second pen I'll be testing is the Sakura Pigma Micron pens for this I'll be using the size 01 so well I'll, I'll write my name well, I hope you can see that this uh, fine liner pen the tip is slightly thinner than the previous one and it's also equally smooth So for the third testing, I will be using this Rotring 0.10mm isograph pen. This has a really, really fine tip, as you can see. Very, very thin. The Maped or the Mapid Graph peps fine line like color pens i don't know where my black has gone so i am gonna test with the blue the stedler tri plus fine liner pens so this comes in a set of 20 colors and it comes in this really nice case of its own and I will be using the black this um, pen the tip is in the size of 0 0.3 mm in terms of smoothness I give all the uh, five pens or all the five brands a 10 out of 10 for the castle can you see it's perfectly fine it doesn't bleed out Doesn't bleed out. This is also perfectly fine. The rod ring pen. I think uh, with the rod ring, uh, with the rod ring pen, if I just place it in one area for quite a long time, 
it tends to bleed out slightly see because if you look at the size of the tip and the size of the dots you know that it doesn't match which means it bleeds a little so let's do with the faber castle as well so do you see it doesn't bleed out this does not bleed sakura pen this doesn't bleed either it doesn't bleed out either when it comes to the bleed test every uh, other pen except for the rod ring the rod ring doesn't do so well in terms of the bleed test because it does bleed out a little not so much but it bleeds out definitely the others it does perfectly fine it passes the test now the next one is ghosting so basically ghosting is when you write stuff on like a paper and if you can see it from the from the back so i will not repeat with the writing and everything but we're just going to go look at we're going to turn the page and see if it bleed, if, if ghosting happens so as you can see for all the brands for all the five pens ghosting definitely exists can you see you can see it's not like um too much like oh but yeah yeah the rot ring since it bleeds out the color actually transfers to the other side as compared to the other brands the other brands you can see you can see a little but then see rotring is the only one that bleeds out on the other side as well in terms of coasting i will say faber castle does well so i'll just say from a scale of one to five would be biased for me to say four because it's just let's just give it a three 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 and the rotting pen is the only pen that doesn't really pass this test so we're going to go on to the next test which is the smudge test so i'm going to write my name ng and just wipe over it and there is slight there is slight smudging just very slight now let me just try with scribbling very slight and now the other thing that i can do is use a highlighter and see if it smudges so i'm using this luxar geo litter marker pen okay so this is basically a highlighter let's see it's if it smudges or not when i use a highlighter so if i just go over it once it doesn't smudge but if i go over it again and again then yeah definitely it smudges can you see and i to be honest i also did press a little harder so let's just see um again lanba wait for a few seconds for the ink to dry off and gently I will just highlight this it still smudges the next would be the sakura pen this doesn't smudge now let's Test with the highlighter. I've written Lan Bang. This does smudge as well. It's not really smudge proof. Let's try again. But yeah, once the ink dries properly, it doesn't smudge if you just gently highlight over the words. But if you press slightly harder, then yeah, it definitely smudges. Now we're going to go to the rod ring and I have a feeling this is going to smudge big time. Run bang. Okay, no, it didn't smudge. It did not smudge. Wow. Run 
bang. So I'm going to use the highlighter on it. Oh, let me press harder. This does fairly better compared to the other two in terms of smudging. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to go to the next one, which is the mate. This is Anbang. This doesn't smudge. This doesn't smudge either. Bang. And then the highlighter. I'm gonna go gently over it first. It does smudge even like if I just press on it gently, let's go a little harder. It definitely smudges. Now the last one is the Stedlow. Oh, it doesn't smudge. It doesn't smudge. Go over with a highlighter gently first. It smudges harder. It definitely smudges. So when it comes to the smudge test, I think the pen that does well is the Rotring Isograph pen. Yeah, so this is the only pen that doesn't smudge as much as the others. The one that smudges the most definitely is the Stedler, the Mapid Graph Peps, the Faber Castle, then the Sakura, and the Rotring is the one that actually holds the best. Now we'll come to do I love these pens and from a scale of one to five how much do I love them so I'm going to rate them Faber Castle put artist pens do I love them yes I do love them now how much would I rate it I think I would say um, four and a half out of a five yeah because I love them but I don't completely 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 love them okay and now for the second one, Sakura Pigma Micron Pens. Do I love them? Yes. And from a scale of 1 to 5, I definitely give it a 5. Why? It's because I've been using these pens for the past, I think, about 8 years. And these pens have not failed me. I know that, yeah, in terms of the smudge test, when you put like a highlighter on top of it, it smudges. But I use this particular pen specifically and mainly for my artwork and it does great so i love this agrappa uh, pigma micron pens that's why i always go back to buying them you can see what i mean these are uh, the ones that i have i've had to discard a lot because the ink is over and i also have another set in color forms so yeah these are my pens so you, you can you can just see how much i love them so yeah I love them. The Rotring pen, yes, I do love it, but because of the fact that it doesn't really pass the bleed test, I give it a four. Okay, maybe a four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. The Mapit, no, I do not love it. I'll just basically give it a one and a half because you can use it for very normal stuff like just writing or sketching or drawing or doodling. Like, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, but you can't really use it for professional, like, artwork. Stedler, do I love it? Yes, I love it because it is really nice. I, I've used this for a lot of my artwork as well. And, um, but I wouldn't give it a 5 because I just realized that it's actually quite expensive. So I'm going to give it a 4.5 as well. So out of all these five pens, the pen that I definitely have not continued using is the Mapit Graph Peps. And the one that I just absolutely love, um, I will start from the ones that I love the most, will be the Sakura Pigma Micron Pens. Then after that, I would go to the Stedler Pens, then the Faber Castle. And with the Rodring, I'm not really... Um, I don't actually have so much to say as of now because I haven't used it so much for any big art projects. So with this, I will definitely keep you guys updated soon.
plan bun and just scribble a little since the paper is slightly textured so as you write or scribble on the paper there is slight friction because of the texture of the paper i think it's gonna be i think that's normal because of the fact that the paper is um, textured the second is the sakura so for the sakura and lanbang This is also works perfectly fine. Hmm. May may pit or I just guys just tell me how to pronounce this particular brand because I'm clueless. Smoothness, I think with all the pens. It doesn't work, uh, it's not very smooth, like I said, because not because these pens are not smooth, but because of the fact that I'm writing on a textured paper. So you can't really expect the pens to be all smooth when you're scribbling or writing on a textured paper. was not for bleeding I'm sorry it's for smudge test so I'm gonna change that smudge smudge test yeah so Faber Castle does pretty well Sakura and Pigma does much better than Faber Castle the Maypad actually does much better than the Rotring and the Sakura and I think the one that didn't do well uh, from the five is the Stedler. So when it comes to the smudge test, Stedler didn't do so well. Now we're going to look at the ghosting. Like I said, this is a 300 uh, GSM paper, so we're just going to flip it and see if there is any ghosting. As you can see, which one is this? I can see a slight this from the all the pens pass now we're going to go to the bleed test we got a little mixed up before so we're going to go to the bleed test we're going to start with the faber castle The Mapid Graph Peps on this particular paper, it bleeds out a little, just like a teeny bit, but yeah, there is definitely a slight bleeding. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. And now for the Stedler. Oh no, the Stedler bleeds out as well. Do you see the B? Do you see the B here? So yeah, you can see that it bleeds out a little bit. Yeah, so I think for this bleed test, Faber Castle does well, Sakura does well, Rodring does well, the Mape the Mape the Mapit and the Stedler doesn't do so well. Now do I love it? Now for the other one I've shared that yes I love them and I've given them uh, different ratings or numbers so to say. Now for this, uh, like I've shared before, I definitely would go for the Sakura, the Faber Castle, the Roderick, the Rotring, and the Stedler for my artwork. These are the four pens that I use for my artwork but the ones that I use the most is sakura sakura wins it for me and just using one pen goes a long way i just don't know how like it takes so long for the ink to just get done like it's just amazing so yeah sakura is it so now we're gonna come to the pricing and we're gonna be Looking at the Faber Castle Pit Artist Pen, so this particular set of pens, it came in a set of four and I 
uh, got it for the price of 339 the actual price is actually 400 but um, I got it on a discounted price and it comes to 339 so that would be 339 in terms of Indian rupees okay so I have this many pens these are all in black okay and then they are in different different uh, sizes in terms of like the nip they come in different uh, sizes and uh, like some of them come in just a pack of four some of them come in a pack of eight so it varies so for Sakura if you get the micro um, pigma pens for a set of six set of six it comes to about 535 rupees and um, for a set of eight set of eight it comes to about 699 so depending on um, the quantity and um, the sets that it comes in the prices also vary so yeah just keep that in mind for the rod ring pen um, I got this in the nib size of 0 0.10 mm so for this particular a pen I paid a price of rupees 849 the actual price is 970 but again as always I look for discounts everywhere so I got it on a discounted price for 849 rupees and I believe the reason why this pen is slightly more on the expensive side is because it's refillable so it you also can purchase uh, inks um, specific for this pen separately and you can always refill when the ink is over so just to give you an idea of what i mean so you can twist this open so yeah see do you see this so you can i'm not going to twist it out because it's going to be messy but then yeah you can just open this refill the ink and use it so that way it's really nice so now for this mapid graph uh, peps pens i i am not so sure because I, I got this quite a long time back and i got it from like a normal stationery shop and i don't remember the price but looking at it online um the price it comes for rupees 450 after discount the actual price is 600 but then yeah 450 so actual price is 600 so uh, this comes in a set of 20 20 pence black is missing so that is the price for 450 if you get it from a normal stationery uh, I believe you would have to pay the full price which is 600 but if you buy it online online stores always have discounts and sales so I think the better option for you is to get it online I mean I do all of my shopping online and I love it so yeah that's the price for the Mapit Graph Peps and now for the Stedler pens I got the Stedler pen from a normal stationery shop and I oh wow I didn't know I paid this much for this particular set Ooh. okay so this pen I got it for 1895 oh my gosh can't believe I paid that much but yeah so this also comes for it comes in 20 different colors <gasps> for the price of 1895 i just cannot believe i paid that much wow did i really pay that much yes i did so you can see the difference 20 sets 20 sets steadlers for 1895 and the to graph pens are for 450 from online and 600 from a stationery shop so you can see the price variation but one thing i would like to uh, share with regards to this map is these particular pens i definitely will not be reusing them because uh, though it passes the smudge test when you actually use them for artwork it does smudge like i'll just give you examples I created these particular art pieces to make to convert them into stickers and as you can see and for these I used this particular ones and as you can see I don't know if you can see but see once you kind of uh, layer one color on top of the other 
it smudges do you see it yeah it smudges so that is something that I don't like it smudges quite a bit see it's not it doesn't give very fine uh, dots so yeah I definitely won't be continuing with this particular pen for my artwork I'll use them for maybe just bullet journaling or writing stuff but yeah not for like proper like art pieces Paper Castle is available, normal stationery shop, uh, shop. it's available online with, uh, with Sakura Pigma Micron pens, they're also available both in stores but with Sakura pens, you don't always get them in like in a normal stationery shop you'll get it in like um, in like the fancier art shops like you know and but definitely you get them online on Amazon, on uh, Flipkart, yeah it's available and the rod ring, it's definitely available online. But I'm not so sure if it's available in a stationery store or in an art store. Like, I haven't really seen this even in the fancier, more artsy stores here in Bombay. But definitely available online. And with the next one, the Maypit Graph uh, Peps available in both online and stationery stores and with the Stedler it's also available in both so these are the stickers I've made from the art prints I just showed you a while ago and yeah these are available on my Instagram page I sell a lot of stickers, so to go check it out, I'm gonna leave my Instagram page details somewhere on the screen. I am done with this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that uh, this video has um, given you enough information on you know which pen will suit your purpose. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If it was of any help to you, do let me know. I would love to hear from you, and well, until the next video. Bye-bye, take good care and stay safe.